Hey guys, Beast Wolf 10. I want to in introduce you to a uh, another solar charging product uh, they recently acquired. Um, this guy I introduced uh, a little bit last year. Uh, this was one of the first solar charging uh, units I got. Um, it was also at a very good price. Um, and it's done fairly well. Uh, I will probably keep this in the truck more than likely um, as sort of just an alternative backup. Um, but I'll show you where this kit really out, uh, exceeds it. Uh, the solar panel here was, I think, a 4 watt maximum. Um, and I just weighed it, and it's almost 20 ounces. Uh, it's fairly bulky. It's nothing you'd really want to pack with, um, which is why I believe it's in the uh, Bug Out Vehicle series. Um, it is nice. It has storage for its cables to hook up to stuff. And it does have the uh, cigarette lighter attachment. Um, still like it it's a pretty good product uh, but looking for something a little bit more um, and a little bit more power and what I came across again a really good deal this was um, you know what as of uh, 24th of uh, January 2010 I believe it's still on their REI outlet um, for quite a bit less I want to say it's like 80 bucks originally I think this was a $200 um, solar kit well, it looks a little bulky. It really isn't. Um, I mean, the way it kind of sits, the uh, the middle of it is uh, empty. Uh, but it is a flexible design. It seems a little bit bigger um, than you'd think, but it has quite a bit more sun I guess, square footage uh, than this guy. But really, I've got two panels and where this one is at four. Uh, one thing that enables it to do is this is actually, I believe, up to a six watt maximum. Um, again, super lightweight. That one was 20 ounces. This is seven. Um, so that one is more than double, and this has twice the power for half the weight. Um, now, that does not include all the little adapters. Um, so you have to kind of, if you want to carry them all, that's going to add weight. Um, but I believe, let's double check here. The kit itself, that's in grams, is right at seven. So if you really want to pack all the adapters here, that's almost another eight, so 15. So even with all the crazy adapters, um, it's still less than the plastic one here. This one's a little bit more advantageous for backpacking. Um, just because of its lightweightness, uh, it does have really strong grommets, so you can hang it up, angle it towards the sun, pretty much do whatever you need to do. Uh, it does have a car adapter for DC. It has a uh, kind of a let's see if I can get in there. It's a uh, like a four prong, just about every um, like AC adapter plug-in that you'd need. Uh, so far I haven't found anything that it doesn't work on. Um, and again, this will pop right into closer here. Oops, so hard, sorry. Uh, there's uh, two attachments there. Uh, one thing this allows you to do is you can actually link multiple ones up. Um, in series so it's something that I've been thinking about doing but I can link this one and run this to another one and you can run these uh, in series on down the line and increase your power um, and I'll show you one other thing that I uh, probably at the end of this video one reason I wouldn't do that but as long as it's not doubling the uh, the wattage is um, for my uh, my Duracell cell my battery cell as long as it's under 10 watts um, I don't need a regulator so I can actually retar recharge my Duracell unit um, that I'll show at the end of the video here. Uh, the other really neat thing is if your bug out vehicle is going to be sitting for a while, you can maintain your battery with it. Um, this can also, it's a trickle charger essentially, so this could be snowmobile, this could be your ATV if that's your bug out vehicle. Um, it's a really neat idea to be able to maintain a motorhome or your bug out vehicle's battery. Um, or motorcycle, whatever isn't being in use for a while, 
um, with the solar the solar panel and then when it hits the fan um, you've already got this with you um, and you know your truck is going to start so I'll bring up the Duracell and show you what I was talking about